How should the Commerce Department approach cases where the protection of one portion of an industry can lead to significant harm to another portion of the same domestic industry? In the case of uncoated groundwood, uh, tariffs imposed to benefit one mill will result in significant harm to our rural newspapers. Well, among the data that we've requested from the newspaper industry, which frankly has yet to be forthcoming, is just how much per page for each of their publications does this mean? Well, that information won't be very difficult from the big newspapers. It's the little newspapers that don't have an extra person to calculate what the per penny cost is on a, on a sheet of paper. It has a lot of different implications, of which a lot of them are hard to calculate. But uh, I can guarantee you that a lot of small newspapers are going to go out of business if, uh, if that happens. And that one mill may do well. On the other hand, with less customers, it may not. Our over-reliance on uranium from foreign countries such as Russia and Kazakhstan has created a significant national security threat and hamstrung our domestic uranium producers. The problem is particularly important in my home state of Wyoming because we account for two-thirds of that domestic uranium. Will the Commerce Department initiate an investigation based on this petition? And if yes, when can we expect that investigation to begin? We will be making a decision very shortly as to whether to initiate a 232 uh, investigation. It's complicated by some prior agreements uh, that exist, but we're sorting through it, and we will come to a conclusion very, very quickly.